Hello again. Okay, uh, so here is a little soldering iron. Uh, I have uh, a series I'm planning on uh, small uh, precision screwdrivers, and I'm also planning on doing a series on micro soldering bit uh, soldering irons, uh, or just these smaller soldering irons which I also have a couple of uh, larger deals that I'm gonna or, or irons that I'm gonna also look at um, but this right here is the uh, Miniware TS 101 can't see it I uh, really didn't feel like spending the time to peel this sticker off stuck on it sometime or someplace in China uh, let's see 50 to 400 Celsius which is pretty hot has boost mode uh, TS 100 tips uh, DC 9 to 24 volts is 65 watts uh, PD 3.1 compliant uh, for 90 watts uh, smart soldering iron TS 101 uh, package includes TS 101 controller uh, gray one piece soldering tip TS BC 2 one piece anti slip cap one piece USB C silicone cable one piece and a user manual which we all know I'm not going to read other than kind of giving y'all a little bit out of it now of course as I've said before I grab a user manual when I mess it up and that's to figure out how to fix it now one thing so I've got I've got a couple of other ones that are actually in and I was really surprised at the size of this one I, I was expecting it to be a lot larger because the videos that I've watched on YouTube are a lot looks a lot bigger than this uh, this right here is a set screw when you put the bit in there or I don't know why I'm saying bit but the uh, tip then you use that to lock it into place uh, this right here is a ground screw where you can attach a wire and run it to earth ground uh, to eliminate the potential issue of uh, uh, static electricity wiping your circuit board out whenever you're soldering it which I've done a lot of soldering but I've never wiped a board out I used to wear a ground strap on my wrist all the time uh, I don't know sometime over the years I got away from that and I really I just don't do it I'm not saying that's a smart thing you should because static electricity is a excuse me I got the hiccups the as my youngest daughter used to say uh the um the, it is a risk uh to damage something although i've never damaged a piece of uh electronics with static electricity and i've walked over carpets and then went to work on computers i used to work on computers all the time uh until it became my job and then i started hating computers i still hate computers by the way um anyway let's get back to why we're here so uh, you have the USB-C uh, power interface as well as a standard uh, barrel connector which will work with most uh, of your uh, laptop power supplies. should plug straight in there. Uh, you have a few that are a little odd that may not plug in there. But uh, if you can find a... Uh, I would look at the, the power supply though. For, for the most part, I mean, there are some that, uh, and I think it's, it may be Apple, that's a little higher in voltage, but uh, you don't want to see one, you don't want to plug one in here that's going to be higher than uh, 24 volts. Uh, the specification, let's see, what does it show here? Uh, 9 to 24 volts. So I really wouldn't want to go over 24 volts. Uh so uh, what I'll probably do is I'll just plug this into a, let's see which one, I've got a PD 
power supply it's a 65 watt so we should we should be fine I'll uh I'll hook it up to that one so uh, let's talk about some of the stuff we've got this uh, uh, it's it's extra uh, this doesn't come with it this is the one that came with it uh, this right here is a little stand you put it on the end of it like that kind of fits snugly in there and then you set it down and that keeps you know the tip is not actually going to touch just on its own you, you can look at that even even right there it's not touching the surface so now even on the top side there now there there it is now there it is touching it a little bit now what I did I put that in there and I tried to show this on there and it don't fit so pull the tip out put that piece on there and then put your tip in and you can tighten it down if you want I probably want because that I'm putting a you know, I had to pull a, a bit to get it to come out so that's just not gonna that's just not gonna fall out it's not gonna slide forward and lose connection and if you're if you're so rowdy with uh, this thing that that slips forward uh, <laughs> you, you got other other issues <laughs> so let's see what else comes with it of course again here's the instruction manual TS 101 uh, we're gonna skip past all of that safety statements uh, temperature 0 to 50 C is a working state high temperature I don't know nothing spectacular there weighs 20 grams the OLED display is 128 by 32 Type C power source and firmware upgrade. So you'd use the uh, uh, USB C connector to uh, also upgrade the firmware in this one. Which I think this one's going to be more comparable to the uh, HS02 that, that we've got. Um, I'll tell you what, let's just put that off to the side. That's the boring stuff anyway. Then you've got a box. And in the box is one thing. It is a hefty duty cable. Uh, this right here, let's see if there's any markings on it. Miniware. I don't see any markings on it the 65 watts and 90 watts so I would say that's most likely it's it's gonna say inside the manual and I can confirm that and it'll be in the description but uh, this cable is gonna most likely be a hundred watt uh, rated cable matter of fact let me go ahead and look in the manual and see if it says I don't want to extend the video too long. Just looking for that. I should already have the information. Shouldn't shouldn't make you sit there and wait on it. 90 watts max with PD, which is uh, power delivery, which would come over uh, USB-C. So 28 volts. 90 watts 3.2 amps this is this is some interesting information uh, 9 volts 1 amp 9 watts uh, takes about 95 seconds to heat up from 30 to 300 uh, Celsius at 12 volts 1.4 amps 16 watts 43 seconds 15 volts 1.7 amps 25 watts 25 seconds 20 volts which is what you're gonna you're gonna basically see from your laptop power supplies. Most all of them are 19 volts, give or take. Uh, 
and around 65 watts. Uh, some of them are 90 watts. Uh, 45 watts at 15 seconds and 28 volts. Uh, 3.2 amps, 90 watts, 6 seconds. Now there is a asterisk. For this voltage level, please use a PD 3.1 28-volt power supply and a USB-C power cable supporting 50 volts, 5 amps, 240 watts EPR at the same time. Set menu PD power max as off. So that's a bit of pertinent information if you want to hit that 28 volt. Now the the controller itself says 9 to 24 volts but it does say PD 3.1 90 watt max and doesn't actually give a voltage. Now on the barrel jack it is a DC 5525 center positive. Uh, that's your barrel jack. So that's another thing that you'd want to look at on your laptop power supplies to make sure that the center uh, of the uh, barrel is, that's from the laptop and what you're going to see that on the uh, power supply itself. It's going to show on there 19 volts DC whatever the wattage is and it's going to be a circle with a line with a shape of a C and a dot with a line going over and there's going to be a plus on one side and a minus on the other. And so the dot in the center is going to be whatever it happens to be. Some I've, I've seen some that are uh, uh, center pin negative and some that are center pin positive. So you want to double check that. So let's do this. We're going to unplug this, unplug this. And we're just going to plug it in and see what we get out of it. Now this is my first time plugging this in. It's the first time messing with any of it. So this isn't scripted. I don't script anything. Uh, all right. We're looking at settings, heating, settings. So it's wanting to try to heat, but there's nothing for it to heat. Let's see. No tip. So hitting A is going to start the heating process, but it already knows that there's no tip in it. So B... Uh, you've got temperature ranges that you can use T1, T2, T3 let's see let's try to cycle back through here and I'll give you the details that I'm seeing just in case you can't see it uh, okay T1 temp 300 Celsius T2 temp 330 Celsius T3 temp 350 Celsius temp step 10 I'm not sure what that is but uh, those different presets you can change them to whatever you would like sleep time or sleep temp whenever it goes to sleep it's going to cool down to 250 Celsius and well let's cycle back through these don't wait too long sleep time uh, looks like 180 seconds uh, idle time 240 seconds Backlight, which will change the brightness of the backlight. Uh, temperature, uh, temperature units, which if I hit the A button, will go into the settings to change those. I'm hitting the B button right now to cycle through. Uh, display, the uh, boost temp. So you set the temperature when you're holding this down while soldering. It'll boost the temperature. Power source, DC, which uh, that would probably be the barrel jack. Uh, mini volt 3500 low current off PD PW max and that's the setting you would have except I think it said to turn that off if you use the 3.1 and let's see MSEN unit temp calibration which you can calibrate just put set a offset in here the temperatures off a little bit and of course restore factory defaults and then we're back to uh, temp one set so let's unplug it and I guess we'll put this back on just because and I'm not gonna use the set screw either so there we go doing that
and we'll plug it back in. Okay, low volt. So, let's see. All right, so it doesn't like this uh, this cable. So let's do this. Let's pull that out, and we will go because this. Let's make sure. It is, yes, this one is plugged into the PD port on that power supply. We're going to use this cable. It came with it. We're going to plug it in. And try this again. Okay, so I did not get the low voltage. Well, I got it right there. And it is not heating. So, Okay, so this steps forward and backwards. A goes back, B goes forward. So this will step you backwards and forward through the uh, menus. So, I guess my, uh, let's see, what is that? Oh, that's a PD 25 watt. Yeah, hold on, let's see. Do I have a, do I have a higher one? What is this one? 3.1A, yes. it's 3 amps, don't know, well, let's see, I don't know if that's a smart thing to do, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm sorry I don't have a power brick available at the moment. All right, here we go again with the TS-101. If you remember, which you should, because for you, this is going to be just a couple of seconds for where the last video stopped. Uh, but my uh, power supply was only 25 watts. So... It was showing low power and I couldn't uh, get it to heat up. So I went ahead and grabbed a uh, laptop power supply. This is the, the little case, I mean the little power cable that's in there. So, to kind of give you an idea of what's going on here in Louisiana, we've got a hurricane coming. So, while we still have electricity, I'm going to see if we can't go ahead and do this video here. Alright, so, this is the power supply I'm going to be using. It's a Lenovo. Uh, uh, I'll say mini, it's a small, micro, mini, small uh, computer uh, power supply. The specs are way too small for me to read without a magnifying glass, but I did write them down. It is uh, 19 volts, 3.42 amps, and I figured the wattage, it comes out to 64.98 watts, or 65 watts. So this will supply the 65 watts. Now... I do have a power supply coming that will give the uh, 90 watts that it'll go up to. And I'll probably be using that on the tests as long as all the rest of the uh, soldering irons can support that. I have to check the specs. Uh, if not, then I'll do the tests all with this power supply. Whatever I can, I can work out with all of the different uh, soldering irons so that they're all equal. 
except for uh, this one, which uh, it is what it is. But this one right here gets super hot, uh, or at least I'm told. I haven't tested it. I have, you can see, there's a little darkening to it, so I have heated it up. But anyway, so that is the specs on this power supply. Let me kind of get this in here and my power meter is showing 0.1 let's see uh, 0 0.016 kilowatts just plugging the power supply in my outlet is 123.9 volts at 60 hertz uh, 0 0.021 amps and 0.1 watts so I don't have a a setting on here that shows all of that information at once so I'll have to just bounce back and forth through this to just tell you the amperage versus the uh, the um, watts so I'm going to start off by plugging this in now this when I just tested it uh, on this right here, it got super hot very fast. So as soon as I plug this in and say go, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> I'm, I'm stupid. I just ain't that stupid. So first heating cycle is 300 C and you can see it smoking. And I'll have to, in editing, I'll just look at the timeline and see if I can do some kind of a stopwatch to show uh, the time. And what I'll probably, it looks like it's going 30, went up to like 306 and then dropped back down to 300 and it looks like it's regulating there. So I'll try to give a, uh, a time frame in the specs. It uh, took this many seconds to heat up to the preset temperature and settled after this many seconds. So I'll try to keep that uh, display visible so I can uh, figure those. So let me get some of my tip tinning stuff out. Uh, Ultra Pure Tip Tinner. I have had this Kester stuff almost since I was a baby I think. Uh, probably since I was a teenager and I'm I'm, let's just say I'm over 50, so <laughs> I don't know, 30 years. <laughs> I've probably had it that long. Uh, and let's get it open because I've been soldering. I uh, used to solder all of the mics and uh, cabling for everybody's radio. And so uh, you can see where the level is right here. It's this is the this is what's been used out of it. I mean, I just take and heat up a soldering gun, and then stick it in there, and that's really that's really about it. So that is that. Let me stick the top on that. Let me see if I can grab some angry solder. <laughs> what I mean by that is some uh, unknown let's see I've had this my dad got no this isn't the one I just got this at the yard sale this past weekend I think it's going to be some good solder it's actually got lead in it believe it or not oh my goodness it's got lead This came with my soldering station, to give you an idea. It's just a uh, cheap Chinese soldering station. And, and really, I, I haven't had any issues with this, this right here. It's 63% tin, 37% lead. And I have to get my soldering station, well, my soldering station says it is, uh, I don't know, I have to. I'd have to check it. I want to think it's like uh, 450 
it, it, and it solders good. And then here's some more same stuff. So let me just let me just grab that stuff. So. Uh, and we'll know how accurate my soldering station is because at 300 my soldering station doesn't even want to melt this so I don't know if it's got lead in it or not it says it does so right off the bat so pretty good all right now what am I gonna do huh. let's do that Yes, not smart. So, all right. So, <clears throat> my power meter is showing 0.165 to 18. Kind of fluctuating around, but 8185. One, uh, 0.165 or 156. There we go. So, 0.1. 56 to 0.187 it's kind of bouncing around uh, power factor of 3.36 to 0.5 <clears throat> then still showing 0.1 watt I don't know that that's accurate Uh, let's just say I really don't know how to use this power meter that well. 57 watt hours. <clears throat> there we go. 9.7 watts, 10 watts. It's kind of bouncing between 7.9 watts and 10.5 watts. So... that tells you anything 0.2 amps and that's what the power supply is pulling with uh, connected to this now I don't know I don't uh, have a setup at, at the moment to figure to see what this is pulling from the power supply but that'll be okay 330 of course we're only making a, a 30 Celsius jump went up to 34 dropping back down to 330 and it is settled no sense in making sure to smell solder if it'll melt that stuff at 300 it'll do it at 330 of course it's showing the 19 volts next setting is 350 and it just hits that and pretty much pretty much settles out right off the bat 300 now let's see how long it takes it to cool down from 350 and I don't have any way of actually checking reliably checking the soldering tip I don't have one of those fancy temperature gauges that everybody that does these soldering iron reviews has uh, I have a uh, little laser temperature gun that I use to uh, check uh, my furnace when melting aluminum copper brass all that good stuff but I don't know how feasible it is to try to get this because it's I, mean, I think it'd be too fiddly to try to get it right on that tip to figure out what the temperature would be so let's see PD power max off M sin unit. I think I covered that uh, other part of the video. Temp calibration, which I get a temperature uh, gauge. I'll, I'll check that out. So let's let it settle out. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do now is I'll take and uh, see it settled out at should be at 300 Celsius, and I'll hit the boost and see how long it takes to get to boost. Okay, we're at 300 Celsius. Now I'm going to hit A for boost. 
or maybe not. Okay, it went into sleep. I'm sorry. Let's let it get back up to 300. Let it get settled there. Just about overshoots by about 10 Celsius on the first set. Alright, now I'm going to hit boost. That's in boost. Now let it off. Now there's no sense in going to each preset and hitting boost from there, but just from the lower preset of 300, which I th I'm going to do some tests when I'm actually checking these to see how low you can set them and still melt the solder and I think I'm just going to use oops I think I'm going to use this same solder in uh, all of the tests so it's kind of uniform between each one of them so that's got us back down to there and let's let it sit and uh let it drop into sleep mode. I don't remember if this one is uh, movement sensitive, so to speak. My soldering station, which is, of course, a, it's, a, it's a cheap Chinese soldering station, works great. I hate to say Chinese as though that's something bad. There's a lot of great uh, products that I've gotten from China. Um, I don't have any issue with them. Uh, some of them need some work to make them better some of them need nothing they're, they're just fine out of the box and then there's some stuff that really isn't any good you just got to kind of kind of look at it and see uh, there's all kind of name brand stuff and i do that with quotes uh, that is from china i mean it is what it is whether you you like it or not uh, as soon as this hits sleep mode, I'm just going to pick it up, and and I see there's some strange variation in there. It's it's just setting, and it looks like it wants to bounce, saying 300 to 301, 380. I think I saw on there, and then dropping back down and looking again at the amperage, 0 0.2 or 0 0.1853 to 0.204 just bounced into power factor is kind of ranging around 0 0.4159 or 0 0.41 to 0.59 and let's see um, watts 57 watts so sitting here at idle on 300 it's using 57 watts so that's uh, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight watts below the maximum that this power supply will put out, and that's that's more than adequate uh, to me. The heat up time uh, from just just looking at it from a standpoint of using it, I mean, my soldering station takes longer to get back from sleep up to uh, soldering temperature than this right here does. This is even faster than it is. Um, now of course it's I don't know what the presets on it or how cold it's getting I really haven't looked at all that I've just used it so uh, it may be traveling further to get up to that uh, that temperature range uh, which again it's usually in the 450 uh, I've tried to go down to 430 and I just can't uh, melt this stuff good so I really don't think the the temperature range on that soldering station is accurate I got it mainly because excuse me I got it mainly because it is a soldering station and it has uh, one of those cheap uh, air guns with it. The, the fan built into the hand unit versus a air pump from a base unit, which I, I watch a guy called uh, Learning Electronic or Teaching Electronic School, I think it is. It's Soren. A great guy. Amazing very knowledgeable very good at what he does 
and and I agree with him because I have the same outlook on everything. Uh, uh, again, uh, I've done a lot of gunsmith. I've done a little bit of everything, I believe. Um, and I'm always of the idea of, you know, don't don't fix your gun and to make it shoot better. Learn how to shoot it better, like it is. Uh, and so, you know, people want to say things about the cheap um, hot air guns. Uh, the the more expensive ones are so much better, and they melt solder so much faster. And I get all that, but a lot of times that's all he uses is a cheap one and does just fine because he's he's learned how to use the products he has and be efficient with them. Uh, and so if you learn how to use them, then you'll be just fine. He talks about how the soldering board is a great insulator, but as soon as you've desoldered that surface mount uh, component, get the air off of it uh, and, and pull the component back, and, and you can start cooling it down right off the bat. So let me stop running my mouth. Uh, 250 Celsius, just picking it up, moving it around. You know, this and that and the other, all that good stuff. Good thing it's silicone. Uh, there we go. So just picking it up, moving around. You see what I did to, to actually make it jump back up to temperature. It only had 50 uh, Celsius to go to get there. It was pretty quick. Uh, it's kind of cumbersome with this get up right here. Uh, probably be a little... E see, that that is... That would annoy the devil out of me. So, I don't know if I get my my actual uh, power supply in that I can use the USB-C, the PD connector in here. Uh, I think 65 watts is more than enough. I don't think there's any reason to go higher than that. I think this is great, uh, especially if you have a laptop power supply and this is in a go kit to do some uh, work out in, uh, in the field. I think it's perfectly fine to use. But this right here is going to annoy you trying to do intricate soldering. So why pack a soldering iron like this uh, if you're going to go out there and try and solder big stuff? You're going to be trying to solder small stuff. And so this is just going to make it harder to get in there and to work around with it. And I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I can work around it. I can I can deal with it. Uh, <laughs> I may would even try to, you know, even, let's see wrap it around my wrist like that and yeah that is much better that that's much better it's not tweaking or anything so that's it to use this that's how i would do it. i just do a loop around my wrist and and it's i don't feel any resistance on the back of the soldering iron against uh fighting against me to to use it so i think that would be perfectly fine so uh anyway uh a little idea about some stuff i'm doing i, I started the patreon page uh, I got that set up. Uh, links for everything down in the uh, description. Um, there's uh, different uh, settings on the Patreon uh, as well as just one-time uh, donation or subscriptions. Um, I hope to at some point get to the the level that I'm helping people. I, I, I don't care to get flamboyant. I don't care to get uh, flashy and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I, I don't care really to sit down and try to choreograph this stuff. I prefer it to be real life. Uh, grab it, try to explain it to you, make it useful and, and the same way that you're going to get out there and try to use it, I want to try to be on camera using it the same way because I'm not going to read the instructions. I'm going to grab it, I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to try to solder with it and if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But I'd like to be there, the one that does that, so that you can make a uh, educated guess on what you want to uh, uh, get it or not. And if you have any ideas that you'd like for me to try with anything that I go over or anything that I uh, review, I sure give it a shot. Try it out so that you'll have a better uh, educated guess on how, if you want it or not, if it's going to work for you. So anyway, uh, I don't foresee this ever getting... Uh, well choreographed and and i'm reading this big thing off to the side so i don't stutter stumble or anything like that i don't believe i'm going to get there but uh at the same time i do hope that i help somebody i hope i do things for you that that helps you out that's my intent and that's the only reason why i'm doing this uh so again links for everything down in the description i appreciate you watching
Thanks, and God bless.